Hello, my name is Kevin Matthews, and I'd like to discuss uh, briefly with you different AFO designs or brace designs for treating foot drop, or also known as perineal palsy. With foot drop, you have the inability to actively dorsiflex the foot. What dorsiflexion is the process by which you raise your toes when you're walking so that your foot clears the floor. When you have a a weakness of the dorsiflexors, you have a tendency to catch your toe when you're walking. It also will make you walk strange, it will make you knee, bend your knee more than you need to in order to clear the floor or to circumduct your leg. There are different uh, gait compensations that people use to overcome foot drop. This is a, a very treatable condition, although it does require uh, the use of a brace if you don't use a functional electric stimulation device uh, which are typically not covered by insurance but some are now. Um, so today we're going to talk about bracing. The most common design we use is a simple hinged AFO with joints that spring the toe up so that when the, when the brace is weighted the leg can go through the entire range of motion during the swing phase, when you have a tendency to catch your toe, it raises the toe up so that it clears the floor, and as soon as the heel hits the ground, it, it will flex with you. This is a good design for driving because uh, it allows full range of motion and you can uh, effectively operate a gas pedal and a brake with this. So this is would be called a hinged AFO with free motion or full range of motion. Now sometimes there's a need to add a bumper in the back if you have, say, a hyperextension issue at the knee, uh, then you might want to incorporate a plantar flexion stop. Typically this isn't something that is added on unless necessary, but that, this is a variation of this design. It, this one can be made with the spring assist joints or like this one, just straight joints because of the bumper it will maintain 90 degrees going through. Another popular design that we use here are prefabricated AFOs. This is a, an AFO made from uh, carbon fiber, prepreg, which is a very flexible design and ultra lightweight and an effective tool for drop foot. Now this one doesn't have active dorsiflexion so it just holds the foot at 90 degrees through the gait pattern but it works very well and is something that we use also fairly regularly depending on the patient and their condition. With this one it's just a flat foot plate. Sometimes accompanying the drop foot you may have midfoot pronation or other structural issues that require a molded foot plate to control motion of the foot itself along with the drop foot or some folks would prefer a custom device something made to their leg if uh, if you don't have any other issues this works well if you have mild midfoot pronation you can incorporate a custom foot or foot uh, with this this is the other foot but and you would basically just use the foot orthotic on top of the uh, the AFO uh, this is a right, this is a, this is a left. So anyway, a foot orthotic in conjunction with this will also control a lot of uh, unwanted motion and this maintains uh, the foot in good alignment. It's, it's easy to walk in, very effective, immediate results. Uh, these are pricey, they are covered by insurance and these have a tendency to fail. This particular design I haven't had break yet, but other ones I have. They're guaranteed for, I think, six months, maybe a year, depending on the manufacturer. Uh, after that, it would require replacement. Breakage isn't real common, but it does happen, and these are rated up to about 250 pounds, I believe, some brands 220. So depending on your size, your activity level, if you're a very active person, you may not want to use this one because it can fail. Another version is a simple leaf spring design. What this does is basically it 
holds the foot in good alignment. The plastic is flexible. It will give at heel strike. It will allow a little bit of motion and then it toe off as your weight transfers over or if you want to bend over and pick something up. This just flexes and this is designed to flex. Uh, these work very well also, custom molded foot plate. They don't have the free motion like this one does that allows free plantar flexion or the toe going down. This will allow a little, but for driving your muscle isn't going to overpower this thing to work the gas pedal. But you can drive what these people do, it just takes practice. Not real safe, but you want to just uh, make sure that you're safe and you're comfortable if you drive in something like this or any of the designs that limit plantar flexion range. This is about the best for driving, that one or this one. Some people aren't candidates for plastic, say if you're diabetic, you have decreased sensation and you have fluctuating edema or swelling, where plastic is contraindicated, if you swell into plastic it doesn't give and it can lead to complications. This is what's called a double upright uh, AFO, some call it metal and leather AFO, but it has channels or a, sing excuse me, or a single channel where you can have a spring that basically springs the toe up, nothing will actually contact the leg in through here, so there's no skin implications. These are heavy, these are stainless joints and this stainless stirrup with aluminum uprights and uh, it's heavy so it, it weighs five times as much as this at least. It's uh, two, three pounds but it is an effective way to manage a, a drop foot for patients who have other issues but they need the uh, the drop foot controlled. It's important that the drop foot be controlled. Compensating, you can compensate in gait, but you know, you get off balance one time, or if you go from tile to carpet, you can catch that big toe on the on the little runner that catches there, and I've had several patients break their big toe because they catch that toe and then step down. So for perineal palsy or drop foot, several designs, hinged AFO, full range of motion. Carbon fiber AFO, ultra lightweight, very effective. The hinged AFO with plantar flexion stop if you have issues at the knee. The leaf spring AFO that allows, allows some motion, very lightweight uh, and effective. And then the double upright AFO with dorsiflexion assist hinges. Those are the primary designs. So. If all you have is a drop foot, any of these designs should be considered and uh, one of these designs should work well for you. Um, if you have drop foot in conjunction with other weakness, say if you have a, a back injury or nerve damage where you have not only weakness of the dorsiflexors, the muscles that pick up the foot, but also the plantar flexors, the push off muscles, the jumping muscles. Uh, then you would not want to use any of these designs. What you need, the plantar flexors or the push-off muscles, in my opinion, are more important even than the dorsiflexion in, for effective gait, for gait that doesn't fatigue you. Uh, what you need is something that is going to store energy uh, and aid the weak plantar flexors. As we go through gait, uh, we, our heel hits the ground, then our foot, we have heel strike, uh, mid stance, and toe off. At toe off, our ankle really doesn't flex up. It stays rigid so that we can propel ourselves over the foot. So from mid stance to toe off, the plantar flexor muscles, if you look at this foot, are firing, they don't, the foot just doesn't come up, but it fires to kind of propel us forward as we go over the, as we make that transition to weight bearing on the other leg. When you don't have the plantar flexor muscles, the leg just kind of comes through and you have to use the hip and knee muscles to advance the limb, which is tiring and makes for a very inefficient gait. So if, if 
for anyone that has weak plantar flexors, you need a rigid system that is going to block dorsiflexion. Uh, and the, this is the Texas Turbo design. Any really solid ankle design is effective. I do like the anterior shell that really locks in the ankle. This is the most effective treatment I know of for weak plantar flexors, other than some other more some other rigid designs. This is the best design I know for from polypropylene. And what it does is when the foot is loaded, this joint, or not joint, but this plastic is very strong. So the plastic flexes and gives just a little bit, and then as weight trans transitions off, it kind of kicks the foot forward and helps with limb advancement. So if you have weak plantar flexors along with weak dorsiflexors, I would definitely recommend the solid design and the Texas Turbo, this floor reaction, low profile, wide open floor reaction AFO design works incredibly well. So thanks for your time and those are some things for you to consider. If you have dropped foot, when you see your orthodist, you've got some, uh, a little bit of ammo to discuss different designs and see if you can come up with a plan for what works best for you.